Hello guys, Average here. Uh, today we're going to play Automation, uh, the car company Tikken. Tycoon, Tikken, Token. Uh, so what is this about? Uh, basically you can make a car here and drive it in BMNG if you know what it is. Uh, I might consider trying uh, make a few cars and export them to BMNG to show that game off too. Uh, but without further ado, we should try to make a car. Uh, so, new car model. Wait for the for the loading screen. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of bodies here, and you can choose a basic car body here. Uh, you can see that this is the year of your car, which means uh, that you cannot use newer parts or newer bodies than the year that you're on. This is, this is basically it. Uh, we will try to go for a uh, older car. In this case we will go for a Mura body if I can find it. It should be 70s. It's not this. It's not this. Oh, it's, it's, it's this one. So, after you choose your uh, base body, you can choose uh, another option. First off, we have uh, panel materials, uh, which is uh, front quarters, back quarters, your uh, roof, your, uh, your doors, bonnet, whatever you want. And for panel material, because we're going for a more sporty car, we will go for either fiberglass or aluminum. I think that uh, which one is cheaper actually? Real cost fiberglass is of course. Uh, oh, it's actually more expensive than aluminum, so we will go for aluminum. Uh, chassis type, which is your, which is the basically the bottom of the car, frame of the car actually. Uh, you have a ladder. That's for trucks and really old vehicles when they didn't do monocoques yet. Yeah, you have a monocoque which is used nowadays. Space frame, which is like uh, it's easy to build, but you have to do it. It's all handmade. You cannot uh, manufacture it in uh, in millions of examples. And light track monocoque which is like half monocoque, half uh, ladder. It's, it's the easiest way to explain it. And it's of course used in uh, trucks as, as much as uh, ladder, straight ladder. We'll go for monocoque, the uh, chassis material. We'll go for galvanized steel, engine placement. So uh, this game, in this game, mid engine is always behind your driver in front of the rear wheels but always behind your driver uh, normally mid engine can also be behind your front wheels so it could be like here but it has to end before your wheels uh, but as i said uh, mid engine always goes behind your driver so you can uh, you can remember it we will go for uh, mid longitudinal i think we'll go for v8 or v12 if we can uh, we will try to also go for lower lower displacement you will know about displacement uh, a bit later we have uh, front suspension double wishbone axle coils and axle leaves uh, axles are used in trucks leaves are leaves we don't really have to say much more about it it's front suspension. Okay. You can see these are leaves. Coils, which is also used in trucks, and double with double wishbone, which is the best for uh, any kind of sporty car. Uh, there are no push rods yet. And we will go for a double wishbone front and back. Uh, you can increase the quality. It's, it's 
it's exactly what you think. It's just the quality of uh, things made here. But the quality uh, increases the cost of the car, the cost of the parts used in the car. Uh, so we will not go too far up in this. We will stay at plus one. Here you can choose uh, if you have uh, already some form of uh, of an engine from another car, from another project, you can just use it. And I am not going to use any of my earlier projects, so just go for a new one. Name it... Uh, doesn't matter how do you call it, it's, it's just V8. V8 variant, variant, it's not going to be variant. Maybe 4 liter. Uh, so, engine block. You can choose between inline, uh, V60 degree, and V90 degree. Uh, degree uh, means on which degree the pistons uh, uh, connect. It's, no, that, that's not not good explanation. Just see the difference here. This is your inline engine, where all pistons are in row. In V engine, pistons are on the opposite side. V60 degree, the same, but on on higher degree. Uh, you have uh, your old boxer engine, uh, which is mostly used in Subaru or Porsche. Uh, BMW uses them in uh, in bikes. Uh, but we're going for V8. Uh, here we have block material, so you can choose either cast iron or aluminum. Uh, and because we're going for something uh, more expensive, uh, we will take aluminum. Also because, uh, let's see, it's, oh, it's already 4 liter. You can see that there is a 20, 30, 25, uh, is it pounds? I don't, don't remember the... Is it pounds or kilograms? Measurements. Oh, they can can only be just main menu. Okay. Le oh, it's it's kilograms now. I remember. Uh, you have push rods, direct acting, uh, overhead cam, overhead cam, and dual overhead cam. And uh, let's say it's American Nura, so. You'll take push rods, aluminum, but the American Mura would have iron block. Mm, no variable valve lift yet. No, not yet. Only push rods. Uh, here is your crank, cone rods, and pistons. A crank, flat plane, or uh, oh, they are both flat plane. Cast iron or forged steel. Uh, this basically means that forged steel ha is a bit more strong, stronger, has a lot more resistance uh, on higher RPMs, which you can see here. It's quarter. It's a quarter more torque and RPM. Uh, and also cast iron weighs more, so uh, going for forged materials makes your engine a little bit uh, lighter. Conrods. Uh, later on, we can change this all for uh, forged. Forged, but do we go for flat plane or? Oh, flat planes are a lot, lot lighter and easier to make. Eh, that's why Americans make them. Uh, we'll go for cast, basic cast for now. Maybe skip keep that flat plane here because it's uh, a bit, bit better for now. Can we choose anything here? No, not no, anything else. The compression ratio. Cam profile, and because we're going for sporty, we'll like to make it 
or no, we're not going to change it. For now, of course, we will change it a bit later, just increase the quality. Uh, we can choose the carburetor or injection. And we have only mechanical fuel injection. I think that EFI was made in like 80s, 85 or even 90. Not sure about that. Uh, you have carburetor, four barrel, quad barrel, twin carburetor, standard or performance. And we have few different types of fuel. And because you actually want to drive your car, uh, most probably just go for regular always. Don't think this will get a lot of RPMs. Here you have your headers. It's the part of uh, your exhaust that is connected directly to the engine. You have a cast lock. It's the uh, most crude and easy to make uh, header. Short cast, which has a bit better flow. And tubulars. Tubulars are used today. They have the best possible flow and overflowing. Uh, we might go for something uh, less uh, less wonky like regular tubular. Dual exhaust because it's a V8. No valves. There are no valves yet. Make it bigger. And now, how about CAT? CAT uh, in the 70s were terrible. And as you can see here. They make the, the flow of your exhaust half of it, uh, half of its normal flow. So you would have to make it probably twice as big as you normally would. Uh, so we will not give it converter yet. Uh, we are not giving it the first muffler, but we might go for a reverse flow on the second one. So we have a uh, valve float and knocking issue. Increase the quality of this. Make we can make this as big as possible for now. We will uh, reduce it later. Increase the fuel mixture a bit. Uh, this is basically the ratio of air to to the actual fuel. And if you want to read, uh, it's it explains it a bit better, a bit easier for you. Uh, we're going for... Uh, because of the overflowing, we can't even give it more, more RPM. We have to probably just reduce this. We also have knocking issue. And Jin is running to the rich, which is basically we're spitting fuel out of our exhaust. If you decrease it too much, uh, it starts to knock. I should also explain knocking issue. It means that uh, your engine blows its fuel before the piston goes completely up. Uh, where is it? What do I have to... Okay, you can see here. If the piston... Or easier. The fuel has to explode at the moment where the piston wants to go down already. If it blows up, when the piston is still trying to go up to compress it even more, uh, you will s your engine will start knocking, which will greatly reduce performance and reliability of your engine. Uh, this happens if you put not enough fuel, uh, or you give it just too big of a compression ratio, or if you give it turbo, this will also happen, because uh, your mixture will get inside pre-compressed. I mean, not mixture, uh, the 
the air will come inside of your engine pre-compressed if you have turbo. So it's even harder to make it reliable. Cam profile. Uh, we want our engine to go on uh, high RPMs, so we will go for this. Increase the ignition timing, uh, make the RPM limit a bit higher, is it even possible? Make it two barrel or four barrel. Two barrel with triple carburetor or four barrel with twin carburetor. Maybe two barrel. Two barrel triple. Just what happens if I go for single car carburetor? Two barrel twin carburetor is uh, it's going to be maybe the best here. Okay, uh, we can still increase. I think the compression a bit. We can go up to ninety one runs. Ninety one run. Uh, decrease the the exhaust as much as we can. We don't uh, want to make uh, our engine too loud to people. But we also don't want to reduce its power. Okay, it's uh, 160 kilowatts at 5.4, which is not really that good. Only 9.2 fuel efficiency. Can we make it at least a bit better? Not really. It's still a push rod V8. Oh. I can reduce its friction if I put any form of overhead cams. But they are both too expensive and way too much. Uh, what's the difference in weight? Normally it's uh, two, 201 kilograms, now it's 27, now it's 220, so it's 20 kilograms more and it doesn't seem to increase performance too much. Or does it? Uh, it's 9.2 in fuel efficiency, 9.6, okay. Oh, I didn't explain how the head and valves work. Uh, if they are controlled by any form of electronics or hydraulics, like uh, like now, uh, the more of them there is, uh, the cleaner the engine goes. Like the cleaner, the softer the engine goes. Uh, here you have only two, two per cylinder, which means uh, that there is one for exhaust and one for intake. Uh, nowadays we have uh, three for intake and two for exhaust. Uh, now it's only four. Yes, for those years it's only four. So two are for intake and two are for exhaust. Uh, once more, what do we, uh, yeah, we're sticking to, to push rods. Don't care about it, anything else. You can change the color of your engine here. Like the color of the block, make it red if you want. 
I'm not sticking to that. You can listen to your engine if it's actually... This is not the sound of a V8. So we might have to go for a regular uh, crank. Uh, you can choose the type of coupe body. Coupe body. We're definitely going for a uh, non -con convertible. ones should be the best here uh, choose the color of your body panels and mat like uh, material color to make it plastic chrome leather aluminum make it make your car transparent if you want and it's not 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 as bad as you think we're going to give it uh, It was, it was uh, fiberglass or aluminum? Yes, it was aluminum. So we should stick to aluminum type of paint. It's possible. But it's also not uh, looking too good. Actually looks terrible no matter which color you choose. So just give it some form of regular paint. You'll probably change it later. Change the shine of the color. Flake. Also about this box, it, it provides you with information about problems with your car. For example, here it states that uh, there is not much <laughs> space in front of uh, my engine. Which also means that it's hard to maybe not maintain it it's hard to work with uh, that engine uh, you can choose like basic fixtures for your car they don't really matter in this game they are just uh, your visuals but we'll give it some basic basic fixtures if it doesn't bug out we should also go for pop-up headlights because it's, uh, it's the seventies. Uh, you can change the, the height, make it absurdly wide or high, scale it, rotate it. a little bit down give it some uh, indicators here maybe those change uh, the alignment maybe make them home Oh, panel color. Uh, there should be chrome somewhere here. Window glass. It's not really chrome, but it's as, as best as I can do it. Uh, interior 3D. Uh, so... Don't really know how to use it. I think it's uh, it's from some mod. We might go back because we had the translucent paint. 
translucent, transparent paint. Cannot do anything with it. Not yet, at least. Okay, go back, make it, uh, make, make it regular once more. Go to next. So now uh, we can go for some form of a grill. Uh, we don't need a grill here because we have our engine somewhere. Uh, somewhere here. I wouldn't say that this is a... Is this actually... Yes, it's a mid engine. It starts just in front of the... Like you can see the axle, the axle here. It's the axle. Hard to see it. Hard to see it from here. Yes, it's the axle. So it, it is actually mid engine. Uh, what was I saying about grill? We don't need a grill here, but we need a number plate. We will go for regular one. Make this car as boring as possible. Uh, you can also learn a few tricks if you want. You can rotate them by... by 90 degree, align them to horizon. And the, the front of the car actually doesn't look that bad. Give it a nice lip, maybe not nice. Make it functional. This game doesn't know what to do. Okay, now make it wider. doesn't even look Ch check another one maybe it will work no it doesn't work Doesn't even fit the car as it should. Okay, this one looks okay, I think. Change the color uh, so it looks as it's the base body. And now for this, uh, for the wing. We should probably add something, something clean, not too offensive. Nice and clean. Nice, boring and clean. And something that actually works now for the cooling and because we have our engine in the back of the car uh, we should add some vents somewhere here flip them this way expand them a bit and i mean a bit is it mirrored yes it's mirrored so maybe actually make it bigger I'll take another one Maybe more aggressive vent. Uh, 